Okay, this is the P2 paper from June 2022. It's question number six. It's a geometric sequence question, as we can see up here. And a little bit later on, there's going to be some work trying to find the sum to infinity. Let's make a start then. So we've got this geometric sequence, u1, u2, u3. They've told me the common ratio is equal to r. Okay, well, if that's true, then I can save part a that u3 divided by u2 will equal r, and so would u4 divided by u3 equals r. I'm writing that down to remind myself that that's always true alongside any facts they give me. They're also telling me that u2 plus u3 is equal to 6, and they're telling me that u4 is equal to 8. And with all that information, can I try and get to the stage where I've got this quadratic equation to be solved. Okay, yeah, first of all then, if we combine this one and this one then, we can say that u3 over u2 is equal to r. That will then give me, if I rearrange that, u2 is equal to u3 over r. So what I'm going to do now is substitute that in there, so I'm going to get u3 over r plus u3 is equal to 6. Now I can find out what u3 is because um, u4 is equal to 8. So if u4 is equal to 8, r is equal to u4 over u3. And now I can rearrange that to get u3 is equal to 8 over r in here. And so I can substitute this now in and replace u3 and u3 in there. So what I'm actually going to get is 8 over r over r plus 8 over r is equal to 6. And it's just a matter of rearranging all that to try and get to the equation that I wanted. Let's look at that first term. 8, divide, 8 over r divided by r. Well, that's 8 divided by r twice, isn't it? So that's 8 over r squared plus 8 over r is equal to 6. And then at this stage now, if I multiply everything by r squared, multiply by r, oops, sorry, by r squared, I'm going to get 8 plus, multiplying 8 over r by r squared gives me 8r, multiplying 6 by r squared gives me 6r squared there, and then if I rearrange that, I'm going to get 6r squared minus 8r, minus 8 equals 0. We're nearly at what we wanted, just divide everything by 2. So 3r squared minus 4r minus 4 equals 0. And that's what we were trying to prove in that first part there. So part A, done. Part B says, uh, given that the series has a sum to infinity, so let's not jump past that, that's important. Given that the series has a sum to infinity, can we find u1? Well, if it has a sum to infinity there, then the modulus of r has to be less than 1. So let's solve my quadratic first of all. Uh, so this is part B. I've got 3r squared minus 4r minus 4 equals 0. You can use a quadratic formula if you want, but I would always at least try and factorise it. In other videos on my channel, it shows you how to do this factorising. We need to get quite good at it. In this particular case, this would be plus 2, minus 2 here. So I go away and have a look at those videos. This gives me 3r plus 2 equals 0, or r minus 2 equals 0. So this gives me 3r equals minus 2, r equals minus 2 thirds. And the other one gives me r equals 2. And then this is not valid for a sum to infinity. R has to be, um, basically the modulus of R has to be less than one. It has to be a fraction of some sort. So R equals minus two thirds is the value I'm now going to use. So if we remember then what we said about our series, uh, we know that, I'll just do this slowly here, U1, U2, U3, U4, with these, we know that that term is equal to 8, and we know 
that the common ratio is minus two thirds. So if I do eight divided by minus two thirds, I'm gonna get what u3 is. So you, let's tell the examiner what I'm doing. So uh, u3 is eight divided by minus two thirds, that works out to be equal to, sorry, minus 12, not 12, minus 12. If I wanna get u2 then, that's gonna be minus 12 divided by minus two thirds. And we just keep going through that, that works out to be equal to 18. And if we do it one more time, u1 is gonna work out to be 18 divided by minus two thirds. And that works out to be minus 27. So this is my geometric series here. And for the sum to infinity, what I need is a over one minus r. Remember a is the first term. So that's why I did all that work. I was trying to work out what a was um, so I could go ahead and do it. So this is minus 27 all over one minus minus two thirds, put in bracket if you want to. And let's see what that works out to be. Just stick it into the calculator. Works out to be minus 81 over five. So the sum to infinity of this sequence, which as you can see is getting, the terms are getting smaller and smaller each time, uh, going from positives to negatives. But anyway, it works out to be minus 81 over five. Hopefully that will make sense.